Thousands of exiled Nicaraguans attended the burial in Miami of the former dictator Anastasio Somoza, murdered last week in Paraguay. Overthrown last year by left-wing Sandinista guerrillas, Somoza had asked that he be buried in the United States. Martin Bell, who was at yesterday's funeral, reports. These were the former dictator's last supporters. They crowded round the Miami funeral home where his body had been brought from Paraguay. Many of them had fled with him from Nicaragua at the time of the Sandinista takeover, and they were joined by groups of Cuban exiles who shared their anti-communism. The crowd also demanded that the funeral procession go on foot to the cemetery a mile away, and so it became a political parade through the streets of Miami. Those present included former National Guardsmen, cabinet ministers and political dependents of the Somoza regime. Most of them now live in exile in Miami, which has a Nicaraguan community 15,000 strong. The Somoza family, father and sons, had run the country as a wholly owned subsidiary for 45 years until last year. The dictator's eldest son, Anastasio, groomed to succeed him, still has dreams of doing so, but these don't seem likely to be realized.